Hey folks, this is Vince with Dad's Gaming Addiction, and welcome to another episode of DGA Plays. Today we'll be playing Dracula. It's a two-player game where one player plays as Van Helsing and the other one plays as Dracula, and they'll each be trying to complete a particular objective in order to win the game. I've already covered this in a review and in my tutorial video series, so I'm not going to delve too deeply into the rules here. This is just a gameplay session. If you want to learn more, you can check out my official website, www.dadsgamingaddiction.com, or you can check me out on YouTube and subscribe there. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get this game started. Okay, so as you can see, we've already set up the game. I am Dracula, he is Van Helsing, and I will get to go first because that's what the manual says. So, I'm going to go ahead and move one space over here. I'm going to look at this card, and again, you're not supposed to show your opponent what it is. If it's one of your cards, you put it back. In this case, I've got this person here, one of my cards, put it back. I will opt to keep moving. Alright, now this is one of his cards. It's a hunter with an attack power of two. So now I need to play an action card that has at least a movement of two because I moved two spaces mm -hmm. and something that is two or greater in terms of um, the attack power. I will play uh, this one here. This is Pulse of the Night. Movement of two, attack of three. So that satisfies my movement and has one attack power greater than his hunter down there. Take any vampire from the discard stack back into your supply. Well, there's no vampire from my discard stack. <laughs> no, he didn't defeat any vampires yet, so I'm going to ignore that. However, there is this blue uh, barrier up here. I'm going to go ahead and place that. And um, just, just to forewarn you guys, we are not rule Nazis. If we happen to miss something, I don't care. It's, this is We're here to have fun. So um, don't get mad at us if we neglect to do something. Okay, so... This is gone, so let me put this in my discard pile there. And now that this is defeated, this goes into your discard pile. And now I get to replace this card with something from my other deck here. I'll opt to, let's see, I've got one, two, I've got these in there. So there's there. Okay, so I guess I'll put her, no, no. Yeah, I'll do that one. Okay. My turn. It is now your turn. So now you're gonna op you're gonna look at that one. Okay. What is that? Your vampire. All right. Vampire with an attack power of three. So you have to resolve that one. Now with her, you need you need to play a card with a movement of at least one and an attack well, power of three I or greater. I that one, but that's okay. You can her. you can use two or. I was gonna move that one. Well, once you land on it, once you reveal a card that belongs to another player, you have to stay there and resolve it, and then it ends your turn after that. So you've got, do you have any attack power of four? Or no? Three. Three, okay, that's fine. Now, that only ties it. Do you have one greater than that? No. No, okay. So, um, this... special ability. All right, well, okay, so you moved, you have, you played a card with movement of two, that satisfies okay. that. You played an attack of three, she's three, so that's a draw. So what will happen here is this card will flip back over, but you'll know, well, both of us will know what this card is in the future. But how about the ability? Now, the ability says look at one of, look at one face down encounter card in any location. So go ahead and look anywhere you want. Don't show me, I, I closed my eyes, but you weren't supposed to show me what it is. Okay. I saw you flipping it over, so I shut my eyes. I didn't see what it was. Now, you've got a green bar up here. So you can put the green barrier somewhere. Again, you have to place these in a way that doesn't block your opponent from moving to a, other parts on the not. board. It does not. Okay, so you're good here. Um, we'll just put this in your discard pile, and I'll get to go now. Um, I will go ahead and move here. Look at this one. Do we draw more? For All right, that's, that's what that is. I will put this back. You draw more after you run out of those cards. I'll look at this one now. Okay, so he played, this is a hunter with an attack power of one. So I move two spaces, so I need to play in a card that has movement of two, at least. <laughs> I have a card that... And, okay, so this one's a good one. This has a movement of three and an attack of two. So that'll beat the hunter and satisfy my movement. Move any one figure to the harbor, if I want to. Um, hmm. Okay, well, let's play this one. And, alright, so that defeats this guy, so he goes away. And I'll go ahead and put one of my people, or whatever, in the place. Let's go ahead and use this. Put that there. And, 
I get to put this yellow one somewhere. I'm going to put this yellow one here. And move any one figure to the harbor. Do I have to do that? The rush of the night. Let me check the back of the manual real quick. Um, I don't think you have to. It doesn't say... Oh, is that the rush of the night? I, it's not on here. So I'm just going to... I'm going to ignore... Actually, no. I'll go ahead and move back to the harbor. I want to move a different way. Okay, so that goes... That gets rid of that. And now it is your turn. Alright, don't show me what it is. If it's one of my, oh, that's my card. So you have to lose one energy cube. What does it do? Um, let me check the manual to see what happens to it. One moment. Okay, well, according to the manual, um, the symbol of power card remains on the place and is turned face down. So you just have to remember that it's there. You don't want to land on there again. So, um... Can I still move? Um, no, that ends your turn. So you have to play, um... Move a one. Well, there is no combat, according to this. There is no battle. The player must give up an energy cube. So, yeah, it doesn't say anything about... But I know that when you encounter uh, your opponent's card, you have to stop moving. So, just play a card with a movement of one. Preferably preferably something with low combat or low movement. Something crappy. This one. Do I feel like cannot use the special action of his... All right, so you played a movement of two, combat of one. Um, and this is a wild up here. You can put any barrier... Anywhere you want. Dracula may not use the special action of his next card. So I'm going to put that next to me for the time being, just to remind myself. Okay. I put that barrier right there. Okay, yeah, you're going to make me move an extra. I, I see what you did there. Okay. <laughs> I know, you're probably going to be this way. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I'm going to keep this here to remind myself. Let me go ahead and move one, two. And I'll flip this one over to see what it is. And, wow, this is a hunter with power of three. So now I need to find a card with two movement and at least three attack. Ouch. I do not have it. <laughs> and I... Okay, I will play... I know your abilities work. I will play... No, I need to move movement of two at least. Um, crap. I, I guess I'll use this one, Whisper of the Night. Um, movement of five, it satisfies that. And, but it's an attack of two, so I actually lose this battle. This gets flipped face down, I lose an energy cube, and um, I get to move the barrier if I want to. I think I'll keep it there, though. Yeah, I'll keep it there. And I cannot use my special ability this turn because of his card, this alertness card. So here, let me give you this to discard, and I'll just put mine in the discard pile. All right. All right, so it is now your turn. Moving one over, don't show me what it is. What's that? My card. Your card? Okay. You're going to keep going or stay there? Keep going. Okay. I guess I'll go here. Okay. You're going to look at that card now? Is that your card or my card? My card. Okay. So you can stop or keep going. Not a lot of options. You're going to move... Now. You can move back as long as you have an action of three. Uh, you can move... You have a card with a movement of three on it. It's that's fine. your card. You know that. So that's three movement now. I have to meet with you. It's the only way to get because I can't land here. Okay, so you can, st you can stay there. Or I'm you can... Alright, so you're going to stay there. Just use a movement of three or more. Okay, so you're going to use that one. If you have no revealed any Dracula encounter cards this turn, you may take an encounter card from Dracula Supply. Let me see. Okay, so if you have not revealed any Dracula encounter cards in this turn, take an encounter card from Dracula Supply. Hmm, okay. Let me take a look at the manual and see what that means. But you have a movement cost of four here, so you're satisfied. And it only has one attack. So under Faint, when Van Helsing chooses to take a card from Dracula Supply, he takes one random, and it has the same effect as if he had revealed in on a place. So if he takes a coffin, you place it in your score pile or play area. If it's a amulet or vampire, you have to, um, huh. If it is Dracula's amulet or a vampire of battle strength two or three, Van Helsing loses an energy cube. In the case of Dracula's amulet or vampire with a battle strength of one, he cannot even defeat the weakest vampire. Dracula takes the card back to his supply. So, um, it's a risk. It's a risk. You're going to have to hope that there's a coffin in here. Um, a two. 
Okay, you got a two. So, now it says here you have to lose an energy cube? Yeah. Okay. I only have two left, but... Alright, so I'm going to put that back in my supply. That's kind of risky. That's rough. Yeah, like... Okay, so it is now my turn. Wait, what about the car? It has a blue one. Yeah, you can move the blue one if you want to. Wait, I'll put it... Here. <laughs> okay. <laughs> you got a long way around. Um, alright, I know what that is. So let's go ahead and move over here. And I'll reveal this one. Alright, I know what that is now. Go ahead and move up here. It's mine. Um, what cards do I have left? Oh, that's a, that's... Hmm. I think I'll... See, if I move over there... That's rough. If that's a hunter, I'm in trouble. You know what, I think I'll stay there. And just play Dark of the Night. Movement cost of four. Um, if you revealed Van Helsing's crucifix in this turn, you lose no energy token. Okay, and I can move the green barrier if I want to. I'll just move it here. And let me go ahead and discard that. I heard. Mm hmm. I'll check this card. Nope. Okay. I'm going to here. See where it is. Mine. Now you can stay there, which if you move up and reveal that other one, you're, remember, you don't want the crucifix. So you sort of, you're sort of boxed in there. I w if I were you... I'll stay there. I'll stay there. You'll stay there? Okay. I'll use this. Alright, so movement cost of six. Hey, I'll use... Uh, which one are you going to use? Is this an encounter card? Hmm? Is this an encounter card? Uh, yeah, these are encounter cards. Hold on. Ready? You know what that is, right? Yeah. But I get, guess what? What does it say? You turn an encounter card location by 90 degrees. Wait, wait, what? Let me see. The location by... Turn an encounter card in a location by 90 degrees. Dracula may not reveal this card. No, you you have to... This, that doesn't... Okay. What that, what that means is... This means that you... Pick a card, pick an encounter card somewhere on the board. Some, someone that belongs to maybe you. That means I cannot reveal this that uh, card when I land there. Uh, on my next turn. I'll just do it anyway. Alright, so what card would you I'll like? Stay there. Okay, so you're going to move the green one. You know, you can't block this location. You have to make sure every space <laughs> on the board is accessible. I in there. Where was I? Yeah, okay, there we go. You're in there. I blocked you in there. Mm hmm Okay, now this is movement of five, so you're good with the movement. Um, you moved. Okay, so you're good there. Should I use the ability? Uh, what's the ability? It's up to you. Do you do you want to use it? I'll do this one. You're gonna. Okay. I have a feeling I know it's over there. Okay. So <laughs> finally. You can't rebuild it. Wow. Okay, I can only move. Just, cool. Wow, okay, so I guess I'll do this, and I know what's here. Yeah, so I'm going to stop movement, because my, my last action card is a 1, and I don't want to move more than 1. So I'm going to go ahead and put this, like, that now. Why I'll put that, put that over here. And my special ability, move your figure to any location, but I'm just going to move it back here. But according to the rulebook, I do not reveal that location. The Wings of the Night says Dracula may not look at the encounter card in the place where he moves with his special action. So I'm just going to move there. And that actually finishes that. So now I get to draw these five last cards. Five new action I'm cards. I'm moving over here. Okay. What are you going to do? You're going to move over there? So you're going to reveal that one now? So you, you moved one. This is your second move. Alright, so what's that? That's a vampire with his Correct. attack of two. So you need to move two. Move, movement two, strength I have two. strength one. Okay, so you lose one energy cube in that combat. Wow, I have no <laughs> <laughs> Okay. I'm just gonna scoop down, but I get new cards.
Okay. Now, do you want to move this? What's your uh, special? No special action on this card. Goodbye. Yellow. You can move the yellow barrier if you want to. Man, Van Helsing's getting his butt kicked by these vampires. <laughs> Yeah, you but... really don't want... To... Okay, so this turn is now over. And now you have to go the long way. Yeah, I gotta go all the way around if I want that. that whatever that card is. It could be a, fa a fake out, too. I don't oh, my God, I got that. I got the uh, four. Oh, there you go. Okay. You probably got the four, too. All right, I'll go ahead and... I'll do one... I already know what this is. But I'll show it for the benefit of the camera. This one, I think I'm I know. This one is. I can beat that one. Yeah, now. there's that. And then I'll move up here. And. I can beat that one. I'll reveal this one. Okay, so I found my first um, oh lady my there. So that's one score for me. I need to find four more. Now I'm going to go ahead and put something in its place. And I'll go ahead and put one of these here. One of these. Alright, now I have to play a card with um, movement of three. Breath of the Night. Oh my god! I can move any barrier I want to, but I'm, I'm just gonna... I'll just move. Oh my god. I'll move that there. Okay, so... Sorry. Okay, so... Movement of three. Wild barrier, I can move that anywhere I want. And if Van Helsing encounters a vampire in his next turn, it is stronger by one. So, um, just, I'm going to have to keep that in the back of my mind now. Okay, so now it is your turn. Okay. So, your turn. What are you going to do? Now, remember, you don't want to make sure that you have... You don't want to move too far. Three. Three, okay. So, that's an attack a vampire with a strength of three. Now, that's considered a four now. Because that last card... Do you have a strength of four, at least, to tie it? Okay. So you, yeah, you tie this. What happened to Van Helsing? I haven't. I don't know. He, he jumped out of the city. Okay, so you tied it with this strength of four, movement three, so you satisfied that. No special action. You do get to move this blue barrier if you want to. Okay. I'm making good long way. Mm -hmm. All right, my turn. I will, gosh. I, like I know what those one. are. I know what that one is. I think I need to get over there. Um, let's go ahead and, okay, I know what, I know what this one is. Okay. Yeah, I know what that one is. I know what this one is. Oh, and on. I know what this one is, hopefully. No, I don't. Okay, so, <laughs> one, two, three. I need to satisfy three movement and three attack. That's gonna I will play Shadow of the Night. That is no special action, three movement, four attack. This destroys this hunter, and I will put something in its place. I will put down this, and I get to move the green barrier if I want to. I'll just move it there. And that concludes my turn. Let's see, put that there. My turn? It is now your turn. All right, so you're going to move there. Vampire with a strength of two. So one movement, two strength is what you need. I'll use this. Four movement, three attack, battle lust. When you win a battle, take another complete turn. Okay. So you get to comp take another turn after. So go ahead and um, just discards. So now go ahead and replace that with something. Okay. And you get to move the red barrier if you want to. You're going to move it there. And making it obvious. Okay. <laughs> now you get to make a complete another a new complete turn. So what's this one? Okay. What's that? Cough you got a coffin. Now you get to put something there. Okay. And I'll use the I'll use the reinforcement. I've moved to the carrier house. Move to the carrier house. Carriage house. Okay, so it says, um, so you use the movement card of three to satisfy that movement. Attack strength two, red barrier. Move to the carriage house and take one vampire hunter card from your discard stack back into your supply. Okay? So I you, did that. you took one from this. Okay, so you're good at that. And it does not open that. Okay. It's the action. Alright. And did I here. use this? Yeah, 
You can move the red berry if you want to. Or I you... didn't already. Okay. I did it somewhere else. All right. So now I have to get over there, I think. All right. Um, how am I going to do that? All right. Let's go ahead and one. I know what this one is. Just for the sake of those with bad memories like me. I know what that one is already. I think I know what this is. I don't. It's a hunter with two on it. So I've moved two and I need an attack strength of two. I'll play my four three. Movement of four, attack three. Um, so I satisfy that movement and discard your hunter. And let me go ahead and put something in its place. Put that there. And... Movement four, attack three. In addition to moving a yellow barrier, move any move a barrier of any other color. So I'll go ahead and move that there and that there. Okay, so it is now I'll discard that. It is now your turn. I've got two action cards left. So you're gonna move there. Reveal that. What's that? It's a three. three. I lost. You lost? What happened? I don't have enough strong points. Alright. Um, you know what? I'll, um, I'll give you a mulligan. I'll let you, I'll let you skip that. Yeah. I'll be nice, and technically you would lose that because you don't have an action card big enough to beat that vampire. But because I'm nice, skip that card and move on to How the next that one. that one? I don't That's, know. I know what that one is. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. How about you move anywhere you want to because you're losing. There you go. And you just play a movement card to match that movement cost. One, Technically, two. he would have lost there, but you know, it's it's a, a friendly game. Nothing, nothing crazy. Control. Take one of your action cards from your discard pack and put it into your and discard stack pack into your supply. Okay. It Just says action one. card. So any action card you want from there, put it into your. I hand. did. Okay. And now this is movement three. You get to move a barrier of your choice. It's anywhere. I'll block you. Jeez, okay. So... I don't even know where my cards are anymore. Alright, um... I should do this. Hint, hint, don't go over here. Uh-huh. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and, um... I'll go ahead and move here. One, two. We both get this Now, card. what I'm gonna do, though, is I'm gonna... I'm not gonna reveal this card, because I don't know what it is. But you um, have to look up those hours. Yeah, if I choose to. I will I will go ahead and So I have to look I'll at show you mine. mine. Right. So you can look at this will tell you how, all right, so let's take a look at what he has in here. He's got a bunch of okay, so he's got three of these in here. So you have like none left. And, I, and there's one accounted for over here. So there's one on the board not yet accounted for, which I think I know where it is. So if I land on you again, and I reveal this, if I reveal your deck and find that you have three in here, and I have the, if, if I land, if I find where the other one is on but the board. But I can still get the other yeah, one. Yeah, assuming that you, you can get rid of one of those maidens. Or two. Whatever, yeah. So, alright. So I'm not going to reveal that. I'm going to play my 2-1. Swap the encounter cards in any two locations without looking at them. Uh, <laughs> I'm really? I don't care. Okay, so that's... And I'm not going to move the barriers. Okay, so... Mm -hmm. Is that... It is now your turn. Alright, one movement. You're going to reveal that card. Oh, I forgot about that. That's the three. Pick something else. Mm -hmm. <laughs> 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 It's a two, I match it. Okay, so you have three and a two there. So he he would have lost again, for the record. <laughs> there was a vampire with strength of three here. I don't so he would have he would have lost again. Um, but I again let him go. You want, wait, you want to, how so move? you move two. So movement of three is okay. I two have to go back here. You don't have to if you don't want to. But I wouldn't think that going. It's up to you. Uh, no. You can move the red barrier if you want to. Hmm, what should I put you? Now you get moved over! Uh, I can move it here. Oh, wow, okay. <laughs> You're gonna move it here? Yeah. Okay. I'm trying to destroy cards. Mm -hmm. But I don't really have these! Last card. I will go ahead and move over here. Reveal <laughs> this. Alright, there's the other maiden. Now, 
I it's th my turn. Now I know where I have to replace it with something, though. Dad, why can't I, I can't destroy anything? I don't know what to tell you. <laughs> you lost twice already, so. All right, so. I'm skipping that one. I'm skipping that one. Don't you know even move a one? I should go up there and reveal it. I'm going. How to much movement do you have? One. I'm gonna reveal it. Okay. So you're gonna beat. Oh yeah. Okay, so... I beat it, and now I can... One movement, two strength, look at all encounter cards in Dracula Supply. So and you get to look at I all of these. And I get to replace it. <laughs> all two of it. them. <laughs> I get to replace one. He's destroyed, go to... But, so you saw what was in there. There was, was yeah. there, there were no coffins in there. Yeah. So that means but all three of them it. are somewhere on the board here. I just replaced it. Okay. Alright, so I will go ahead and, um, I will move one, two, reveal this, <laughs> maiden, okay, and then no, I will- You can't do that, you can't do that actually. You can't, Why I not? think you can only reveal it and then you can't do that next time. Like that. What are you talking about? Reveal, what are you- I should have revealed that, I don't even do that. <laughs> <laughs> well, I can choose to look at this. Now, does the action? I, I have to choose to look at your encounter cards before I, yeah. I looked at that. So I have to wait until next turn. I know that you don't have them in your hand. Um, so I'm just going to replace it with this. Alright, and I have to give up this movement of six. I'm so afraid. Now I get to draw five more cards. I've did got, I, I've got three I maidens beat now. This one? Hmm? Did I beat this one? You, you put that down, didn't you? Well, don't don't then. If you don't if you don't remember, I can't help you. I'm trying to go over there. One. So I need five cards for the next. I'm turn. just gonna try this. Oh yeah, I need my five. You need your five. Go ahead and shuffle shuffle these up, and then draw five more cards. This is like a this is this is we I think we've deviated from the standard game here and we're just sort of playing whatever. Why is Van Helsing laying on his side again? <laughs> where where was he at? Here? Okay. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, okay. So you got five cards. So you're gonna move there, you're gonna look at that card. Vampire. I got a card that can beat it. And now I get to take another turn. Alright, so you you beat this vampire with your one, four three. Here. And I get to take another turn. And when you win a battle, you can okay, so find a card to replace it. And you get to move the red barrier if you want to. Oh, wow. You're really make you're really trying to keep me from your, turn. Yes, yeah, so you get to We Van Helsing is <laughs> on your side again! Wow, okay. Be that way. <laughs> Vampire. Good luck with that. 4-3. Okay, you beat that. No special action. This goes in the discard pile. You need to put something there in its place. Alright, so you get to move the blue one now if you want to. Seriously? <laughs> Where's Van Helsing? Where's Van Helsing? Seriously? Where's Van Helsing? Wow. Dead. He's been dead twice, just saying. He is a vampire at this point. You're playing Van Helsing as a vampire. He's He's been dead. I don't know how many times you can kill him, but he's dead. Alright, I'm gonna... One, two, three, because I have a feeling I know what's over here. Four. Let's go ahead and use my movement cost of... Well, I actually need to reveal this first. There's a maiden. I'll take her. Uh, movement cost of four satisfies that. I can move the green barrier if I want to... Um, that and if you have revealed Van Helsing's crucifix this turn, you lose no energy. Okay, all right. So I need to put a card in its place. There we go. Your turn now. I've got three, four maidens. And I'm, unless unless you have the other one in your pile. I know, I think I know where the fifth one is. You probably put it down somewhere. All right, so you you're going to reveal this. What is? Hmm. That's your Come card. Come over here. Huh? 
The thing is over here. Oh, yeah, okay. It's, it's probably a hunter that's really powerful. It's not. It's not. Uh-huh. You gonna move no. again? Are you gonna move again? Is that one of your cards? No. It's to take one action. No, no. Did you, do you want to stop here or do you want to keep oh. moving? Was that one of my cards or your cards? My cards. Alright, you can keep, if you want to keep moving, you can. If not, you don't have to. I get to do this. I have to take it because of the action card. For what? What does it say? Oh, because, wait. You don't take the action until you're done moving. Wait. I know what that one is. That's probably mine. Yep. I'll try this one. Coffin. Okay, find a place, uh, find a card to put in its place. Three. Alright, so you have three coffins now. Alright. And your action was to what? Move. That was... I was here. One, two, three. Up to take control. Take one of your action cards from your discard power. And put it back in your hand. Okay. All right. Wait, hold on. I forgot to move. You can move the. You can't. You can't. Seriously? Are you serious? <laughs> Are you serious? <laughs> yeah, pretty much. The battery in my camera is gonna die. <laughs> Now I gotta go all the way around. Yeah, I'm trying to slow you down. I see you. this. <laughs> My God, seriously. All right, I'm gonna. I know you're not there. I am going to move one, one. I'm gonna move one and not reveal that. And then I will. Um, you really think I can win? I will move this thread up here and move your figure to any location. I'll move it back here again. Um. Now, actually, yeah, I'll move it there. Take again. it there. No, I'm not. No, you're supposed to reveal this. Movement of one. No, I was I was here originally. No, you were here. And then you move one. I don't want to reveal it. I don't have to reveal okay, it. Okay, you have I... to. No, when you, you can. You, no, you don't have to, I don't think. Let me look. Okay, according to the rulebook, at each place, the player may decide whether or not to look at the encounter card in the space he just moved his figure to. So I do not have to look at that card if I don't want to. So okay. I moved one here, used my action to move back here, moved my, move the red. The yeah. My turn. Yes, your turn. What is that? Vampire with three. There's a shock. All right, I you, don't win it. No, you tied it. You have a movement four, three here. Four. I get to move it? Oh my god, <laughs> seriously? <laughs> I'm okay. going to keep doing it. I have another red one in here. And I got a yellow one. When you win a battle, take another complete turn. Okay, well, you didn't win a battle. You tied it, so. All right, so we tied it. Um, let, me just, let me just try and finish this up. Um, I'm going to... Go here. Go I'm here. moving here again, but I'm not going to reveal it. I'm going to play the um, blue. I'm going to play this. Take any vampire from the discard back into your supply stack, which I will do. Which? And... Um, no. Movement two. I'm gonna move this blue one here, and that'll win my turn. Your I turn. I don't know where this one is. Well, it's up to you if you would think you want to chance it. That'd be easy. Okay, so yeah, you one. you got a vampire with strength one. You're playing a one two movement one strength two. You beat that vampire. You get to and put I get some. To move this. You get to move the yellow one. Okay. Now you have to move one around. I hate those barriers. No. Here would be exact because you can't move. And I get to walk in there. <laughs> okay, so you take. No, I have to look for that. Okay, well, first find a card to replace this. This is just getting silly. I have to look in your supply. I have one card in my <laughs> supply. Three. Really? It's just this. So that means the other two that you're looking for are somewhere on the board. Yeah, and that's what I'm trying to look for. All right, my turn now? Yeah. All right. I will play... I think I'm... Where am I at? One, two, three, four, five, six... I don't think you have a movement I'm not. of six. One, two, three. I'm going to move three. You have to look actually, at that one. No, I don't. Actually, actually, I know what that is, actually. Uh, actually, I'm going to go one and move the red one. How many cards do you have? 
Hmm. How many cards do you have? Two? Alright, I'm gonna move the red one there. Actually, no, I'll move the... What was this here? I'll move the yellow one. Let's move that here. Okay, so that was the Breath of Night, movement three. If Van Helsing encounters a vampire in his next turn, it is stronger by one. Your turn. So he's going to move there. Reveal that. He's got another coffin. Four coffins, ladies and gentlemen. He gets to replace it with something now. All right, so you've got two cards left in your supply. And you have to play a card to satisfy your movement, which you did. And what was your special action? Keep it there, but you're gonna move through, and I can't replace it. But it says move through the carriage house. Okay. All right. So let me just end this now. Oh no! I have to do this. Do what? It says I have to take one of my vampire hunters and put it back in your pile. Yeah, pretty much. All right. No, right here. There mm. you go. All right. I, I'm just gonna end this. I have a movement of three. One, two, three. Five. I've got all five. Your other cough? I win three times now. Okay. Yeah, there's your cough. Yeah, yeah I was trying to go over there. I was, I didn't have a blue yeah, one. my other coffin was there. Mm-hmm. Good game. Yeah, good game. And there you have it. Um, not exactly the world's uh, cleanest game, but I think we still had fun regardless. Um, so how many times did Van Helsing die? <laughs> not counting the number of times he committed suicide and ran away out of the city. Like you had him constantly off of the board. <laughs> <laughs> like I don't know, like he was that scared. Like he he died twice, and yeah. and and, Bam, and Dracula was nice. He's like, no, I won't kill you. <laughs> yeah, like that time. Yeah. So yeah, there you have it. Um, you can check out my review of the game www.dadsgamingaddiction.com, where you can also click on the links in the below description that'll take you there as well. This is Vince and Vinny Jr. Thanks for watching, and we'll catch you next time. See ya.